Welcome back to my Let's Play for Moimon. I suppose it's time to make our way to Mount Moon, if not through it. Depends on how long it takes me to get there, I suppose. Though I have been thinking about getting some more plushies for back there, especially for Pokemon, like Mudkip, Torchic, because they're actually available at Walmart right now, but forget Wobbuffet. But any money I could have had for that right now, I sort of got um, spent on manga volumes. I found it on Goodwill recently. So yeah, I picked up probably about two dozen some manga volumes. I got the first 11 volumes of Fruits Basket, got the first two volumes of Rama One Half, a series about a boy that turns into the turns into a girl with the application of cold water, and some various books about dragons. I think I got this manga only because it's, well, I think I got all the volumes for it because the last one I have says it covers like the climax of the final battle. And I picked up all of this. Now, obviously, this is only the first three volumes, but I also got the other two over here as well. But let's get on to some Pokemon battles and not talk about my expanding book collection that has nowhere to go. I actually have a ton of books on my bookshelves right now. I keep buying books and I never can find any real time to read them or get in the mood for it. I've been meaning to start redoing books from Goodwill again, but I find it hard to want to dedicate myself to hours of reading to then do a video about it. Ugh. Yes, I'm starting to get lazy. Then again, I also have a ton of stuff on my plate as is when it comes to the grinding in these games. So it's hard to find a lot of free time to read anyway. Well, of course I mean I'm using Bruce Lee here. But at any rate, let's get moving on. Oh, a bug catcher. That's not fun. Wait, you're the same trainer in the Viridian Forest? Which one were you again? I don't remember you in Viridian Forest. I don't remember facing anyone called Colton. And what sort of dummy would level up his Caterpie to level 10? Seriously. Let it evolve, man. Let it evolve. I also should probably think about getting some posters or something back there, so it's a bit more exciting. Um, nah, we'll just leave Bruce Lee up there for now. Uh, well, let's see, will Poison Sting be super effective again? Good. It didn't work. That's nice. And that just leaves another Caterpie, huh? Can't get away from these bugs right now, can we? And I can't use my Cry Chop on because it doesn't really work that well. I might have to keep Scratch this entire run. Unless I get something better, like Fury Swipes or something. Which is only arguably better, because it hits multiple times. Mm, I'd have to look at its average power to see if it's actually overall better. It probably would be, but... I want to be sure. You like shorts? Wow. Such, such an insightful comment. It really, really makes you seem very sophisticated. Oh, well... This will be easy. Karate chop. Uh. I actually remember dealing cry for a while. Um, poison. Shoot. You know what? We'll let Rama out to deal with you. Now let's see. What should we go with? Oh yeah, this thing has intimidate. Right. So it lowered my attack power in half and managed to poison me. Great. Uh, that's not fun. Not fun at all. Stinking Ekans. You slimy snake. You messed up my run. I'm either going to have to take poison damage or run back and heal. <sighs> Let's battle! I don't know, I can't be too excited. He's just a bug catcher. Oh, great, there's four of them. <sighs> this might take a while. Oh, lowering my speed, huh? 
Well, considering there's more in the lineup, I guess it's not a terrible idea. Not as bad as, you know, doing that when you're the only one in the lineup. I mean, I've used String Shot before just success, but it's very rarely that helpful. Might as well just go for a straight up kill if we can. The more we take, the more Kakuna's gonna get hard here. No more scratch attacks I'm gonna have to waste. Uh, no, I'll leave out Shampoo. I'm sorry. I, I, character's name is Shampoo. Jeez, I'm getting my names all mixed up. Hmm. I wonder where else I'll grab names from, though. I don't want to use too many from Raw one half. Gotta keep people guessing. Let's see. Let's just scratch you. Man. I'm surprised they didn't keep tackle attack. Or did he catch it as a metapod, then train it up by switching out with Caterpie or something? Which would be really hard and unnecessarily difficult. If you evolved it into a Butterfree, you probably could have won. Then it would have been something fearsome. Without that, you're nothing. Well, that leaves last Sally. Well, let's do this. Um, Karate Chop. Hmm, this would probably be coming a bit faster if I turned off um special effects. Eighteen. Well, I think the average is three, so... So it would be more than this, usually, but sometimes it would be slightly weaker. I'll get rid of Scratch. And take Fury Swipes. A Nidoran female. Interesting choice. I mean, male. No, it is female. Jeez. I might be more of it than I thought. Well, cry chop this. Oh yeah, it's not ground yet, is it? It's pure poison. Gotcha. Only hit twice. Well, it was enough, so I guess I'll take my victory. Options, um... Tech speed fast, battle scenes off. Definitely gonna take you on, because you're here. Why should I have to wear shorts? Why are you guys all obsessed with shorts? What's so great about shorts? Oh, damn it, it's a Spiro. Um, Fury Swipes! Shoot, not enough. Ow! That, that really hurt. Shoot, I'm dead. Ugh. Well, we can end up losing right here. That sucks. Well, got, got first hit in. I was worried there we might be a bit slower than Spiro. <sighs> Man, these birds can really put the fear of death into you. Guess I should go run back to the Pokemon Center now. <sighs> Being forced to retreat. It's not good. Nurse Joy can turn this thing back around, right? She's always so helpful. But I don't know where Chansey went. Then again, Chansey only really appeared in, like, what, yellow? Then never really show up again, really, in the Pokemon Centers? Or does this return in some of the later versions? Cause I don't really remember why I saw an, um... Why I got X or Y over there. 
I got one or the other, not both. Well, James, like in Harry Potter. Why would you raise a level 11 Caterpie? Who does that? Why? Like, is it like that one guy decided to take on the Elite Four, the level 100 Weedle or something? Like, just do it. But, but why would you do it? Like, because it's hard. Like, that's not a good justification. It really isn't. Just because something's hard doesn't mean it's worthwhile. <sighs> I mean, that's just the nature of geekdom. We must dedicate our lives to the most pointless and inane challenges. Even if they're completely stupid. And make no sense. This might have been faster if I just kept scratch, actually. Or maybe not. I mean, I... With hit slightly more that first time. Slightly less the second time. Well, these guys never have much money. Touch you? I didn't even look in your general direction. <sighs> Robin, eh? Like in One Piece? Oh shoot, it's a Jigglypuff. Those things are evil. Let's cry, chop it, men. Gotta take it down quick. Or it can sing. And that's gonna. And if it knocks us out, it'll ride all over our face, man. That's how Jigglypuffs are. They carry on markers. Evil markers. How'd you even go through it that way? There's a Geodude out here? I don't see any Geodudes. Hmm. Good luck with that. Take a lot of training to become a gym leader like him. I suppose this isn't strictly necessary. Okay. Oh, does this old man sell Magikarp? Nope. Just reading a newspaper. Or is it this guy that sells you the magic card? But I can't use magic card. I know it evolves into something awesome, but starts out completely useless. Um, I guess I'll head into Mount Moon. Why not? But I'm probably gonna have to look for some additional Pokemon here. Not additional Pokemon, additional TMs to add to my list. I need to find um, the one dark move I can give Mankey. Thief. Oh. I don't know, I am fond of the shape of Geodude in this game. Let's just cry shop for a quick win. Try and push ourselves up to level 17. Might want to switch now. Putting too much attention on Bruce Lay there. Bullet Seed? Oh, I can't use that. Oh. I think I need a Grass Pokemon really to make good use of Bullet Seed. Oh. Feels like I got something in my eye. Suspicious men are in the cave? What about you? You look suspicious to me. You look suspicious to me. You're using a level 11 Weedle. Who wouldn't evolve it, man? You must be up to no good. Like, serious no good. Damn it, Rama! Why are you constantly getting poisoned? Ugh. <sighs> I don't think I've ever seen someone get slapped with poison so often. Like, every episode so far feels like I've been poisoned, except the first one, where there are no Weedles. <sighs> so 
sort of wish I had focus energy. That would help. Probably gonna take another attack then. It'll probably just barely weather out this one. Yeah, I thought so. Okay. Well, we got Kent. Is his full name Clark Kent? Oh, well, I'll take that. Oh, another Zubat. Adorably cute, but at the same time, not what we're really in the market for. Doing a poison or flying run, I'd definitely take it, though. Hard to turn down a Zubat. Especially after Generation 2 with Crobat. That form can be unbelievably powerful. Oh, come on, get off my case, please. I just want to leave the cave. Yep, we're not going to make it. Thought so. It's like every five steps, after all. <sighs> Jeez. Well, at least Rama's back up on his or her feet again. Never can tell. Depends on when the last time we came near a water puddle was. Okay. Your friends, huh? Well, let's see what you got, Iris. Like a fairy. Better take it out quick before it does metronome. Shoot. I'm in love, so now I'm gonna use a karate chop on your face. Yeah. Ronald can only express his love or her love with her fist, or his fist, depending on the situation. Yep. That's how true warriors communicate, right? <laughs> At least that's what you get out of shows like Yu Haka Show. Fighters fight while the jealous criticize, but fighting is the only way we know how to communicate. Yeah, I know this ain't the right path. Oh, a Paris. That's adorable, but... We're not looking for a bug grass Pokemon. With Spore. Ah, here's a suspicious guy. Pokemon Gangster. So it's time to do this gangster style, huh? Let's see what you got, Gangster. Oh, it's another Sandshrew. Eh, not a bad plan. Aw, and I missed. And a defensive curl, and I missed again after only one sand attack? Damn. You're embarrassing me, Ranma. I have to switch out just to get back up on top here. Just one sand attack and I missed three times with Cry Chop? That's just messed up. Great, I switched right into a Cry Chop. Not a Cry Chop, a sand attack. Gosh darn. I can't talk right. Okay. Why is this guy like um, sand attacks so much? You think after he hits me a few times, but he starts switching over to like scratch attacks or something. Really not gonna win by slowly trying to kill me to death. That's not how this works, trust me. Oh look, it's a rat. Well, I got the cure for that. What's your last one gonna be? Zubat? Yeah, I thought so. 
So, let's go with Scratch. A ghost move. Interesting choice, I suppose. And a bug move. Again, interesting picks, but not necessarily effective. I would have went with, like, Super Sonic if you had it. I don't think Zubat's gonna have Wing Attack at that level. It learns at a much higher level, after all. So close. Okay. And we're away. A star piece. Gotcha. Uh, I wonder how many star pieces there are out there. And what do you even do with the star piece? Do I just sell it? Is that all it's good for? Oh. No, I just want to get back up on the, um... Main floor. Goodbye, Paris. Yeah, that was sort of dumb, I guess. Sneak up on you? I came from right in front of you. It's not like I came up there and tapped you by the shoulder and been like, boo in your ear or something. Magnemite. Well, depending on if this has steel typing applied to it, that'll be easy. Oh, it does. Nice. Ah, Voltorb. I'm surprised you aren't steel type, but whatever. As much as I complain about how it'd probably be fitting considering your shape and what you're probably made of, they ain't gonna change the fact that you're a magnet that isn't steel type. An electromagnet. That's what I would go with. I remember turning a nail into an electromagnet one time. It still held its charge for a while. You know, after I stopped applying power to it. Though it eventually got weaker over time, so it probably eventually stopped working. Because the magnetic charge would have gotten too weak to be able to pick anything up with. Ooh, a rare candy. Ooh, a piece of candy! Oh, let's get away. Oh, time to take out another bug catcher. You'd think that I'd be facing more hikers once I got in here, right? Set people in their bugs. Especially their over leveled caterpies. <sighs> it's like they're just meant to bog me down. I ate at least my best attack against you. Ugh. Oh, sorry about that. Nah, I'll leave Rama in. Oh, that's good. But it's still gonna take us three hits to do this. At least. Not just knowing my attacks miss. And it's over. Another pot is down in three hits. Another Caterpie? What's with getting a Butterfree around here? Seriously, why does no one have it? It would actually pose a challenge. So they're trying to outmuscle a fighting Pokemon with Tackle Attack. It won't work. It's insane. Well, we can go up and around, so that's alright. Okay, well, let's get away from that fight. Um, Another Geodude. Well, this is at least a quick fight. One well placed Cry Chop, and this one's over. Yo, dude, is fainted. Okay, escape rope. What's this guy doing? Is he trying to smash rocks or something? 
Or is he just staring for the sake of staring? <sighs> Fossils, eh? Should I stop and let her catch us? Or should I just move on with my day? Ugh, decisions, decisions. Ugh. Or you're just running in circles indefinitely. Well, I think you have a better sense of direction than that. I thought it's guys that, you know, refuse to ask for directions. Okay, scratch. <sighs> well, I can't dodge as well anymore. Uh, I could have went better. Okay, level 16. Um. And we'll take three swipes over Scratch, though it might be a slightly less accurate. I oh, don't know, I'm not particularly fond of Bellsprout's design in this game. Just feels a bit off putting, I guess. Alright, it just feels like it's excessively designed, and that makes it unappealing. Ah, here's another ladder. Hmm. May want to take it. The best part of waking up. It's folders in your cup. Megan, I wouldn't know. I don't drink coffee. Ooh, thief. Well, since we're here, let's fight. Well, I'm sure you are, but I can't allow you to complete this big job. No matter what it is. Even if it was benign, I'd still probably stop Team Rocket just because it's Team Rocket. I don't know, their ha past history just speaks for them. If you see them, they're probably out of trouble. Well, I'll welcome Atkins in. Um, Fury Swipes. Shoot. Finally, we don't get poisoned for a change. Um, darn it. Come on. Stop missing. Then bonus damage. <sighs> Wasn't very effective, but it was enough. Uh, more than I usually get, I guess. Ugh. Come on, stay awake. That wasn't a perfectly good hit. Well, I was curious if the slap method actually works, or if it's just a myth. I probably should leave that to Mythbusters to test, but... I don't know, hands-on experience sometimes helps, you know? Um, let's see. Who we got here? Um, yes and no. I came to conquer the cave. So I don't want to get lost here. Oh, well, let's go with a low kick. Okay, just send out whatever. Oh, same thing as last time, only this one's going to use Quick Attack. That's a bold new strategy.
Okay. I should have used the other attack. Darn it. Man, this attack seems very inaccurate. Highly damaging, but it doesn't matter if I can ever hit my target. In the word of Zoraki, it's not how hard you can hit, it's how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. And Rama's about at his limit. That's nice, just give me your money. Oh yeah, I don't want to throw there, duh. That just leaves this area. Uh, where are some geodes when you want to grind, man? Yeah, I'm just a kid, and you're almost blind if you didn't see me crossing past you the first time. Marcos? Not Marcus. Okay. I'll take your word for it, Mr. President guy. Uh, I think I'll be alright. Oh, yeah. And it's all over for Geo, dude. Ah, uh, bring it. Let's focus on a karate shop. Ah, uh, being hurt by bind, alright. Uh, I keep shaking myself and I can't see the shake the sleep out of my eyes. I keep wanting to nod off and off in the La La Land right now. I honestly don't know if that guy can go back or not. Soon you give him a moonstone. I'll say no, though. Though I can't be certain. Okay. Oh yeah, while in counter run away. <sighs> Deep room must go. Though can I avoid falling asleep? Nobody knows. <sighs> I so wanna take a power nap right now. Okay. Let's do it, Rama. Oh, I got like safely at least. Bad news, huh? Like the bad news bears? Well, this won't be easy enough to defeat. Shit one with Cry Chop. Well, it worked better, I think. Okay. Okay, what's next? Sandshrew. Okay. So far as I got no one to switch to now, because... The only other thing in my inventory right now is my HM sleeve. Darn it. Counting on ya. Don't let me down. Come on, we're gonna miss a lot of attacks here. Oh no, we actually connected. Nice.
That ain't hard. You rocket guys aren't very strong, so you can feel ashamed all you want. Well, let's just go with a quick, um, string things. Darn, I saw that I picked the wrong move. <sighs> yeah, Ford those sorts of screw ups right now. Got too much riding on getting to the end of this at this point. Seriously? One step and then I'm being jumped by another Geodude. Okay. Yeah, wall encounters me really annoying sometimes, I swear. Get what how one, then straight into another. <laughs> I suppose that's what could be worse, though. Like a swarm encounter. <sighs> Come on. So we've gotten through here by now. Okay. You shall, huh? Wait, you guys haven't developed the technology to revive them from fossils yet? Then why'd you even want it? Oh, whatever. Okay. Zubat. Hmm. Things will never know how Brock caught his Zubat. Because it happens off screen. Gosh darn it. Please had enough times to just kill it. Great, only two. Good, the free sweats went off. And we killed it. That's good. That'll end our confusion and push us up to level 18. Might start getting a bit rowdy here pretty soon. Which should be a problem. Yeah, you better be sorry. Stop. You're really going to defend these fossils with a Pokemon battle? Come on, there's two of them. Miguel? Uh, last time I worked with Miguel, it wasn't very fun. Oh, my like it's going to pull off poison or something, too. Oh, it just canceled my move. Nice. Come on, I need like five hits there. <sighs> Come on. Enough with the freaking poison. <sighs> if only it had a Pokemon that was immune to it, that was also fighting. At least it's still low enough level, it can't no self-destruct. I'll look at the bright side. Even when it's not much of one. Bag. Okay. Well... Minus five there, minus four to poison. Nope, another five. And there we go. All of that gone. <sighs> okay.
One more time. Uh, it suck if we lose here. Come on, Fury Swipes! You can't be missing! Need three hits here. Or critical. Either or. <sighs> he still has one more. Oh, good, it's a full torb. So he doesn't have Sonic Boom, we'll be alright. Oh, it's charging power. Good, we didn't miss. So have to double the power of its next electrical move. Of course, I'm gonna have a hard time getting the next Pokemon Center. It doesn't really matter which one I take, I can't use either. They're water rocks. Yeah, you can have the dome fossil. Like I said, it doesn't really matter to me. Shoot. <sighs> Sorry, wish poison would have faded off by the time I got done there. Oh, sure, I pick up an antidote when I have all nine hit points left and no healing potions. Okay. Oh, yeah, tutors, right? I suppose. I'll give it to you. Eighty and eighty-five. Well, that's better than this. It's only eighty and eighteen. <laughs> I'll take Mega Punch. Yeah, whatever. Oh, is that Whirlwind over there? Okay. Oh, it's Roar. Pretty sure we can't get to her anyway. Yeah. Unassailable. And we made our way to Cerulean City at least. Sure, we our final Pokemon passed out through to the poison on the way here, but we made it. We got through the cave, that's all that matters. And didn't have to use anyone else in the Pokemon battle that wasn't a fighting Pokemon, so I'll consider it a win. And at least we learned Mega Punch, so we got a better move to make up for. No, not being able to hit bugs and stuff, you know, with our fists very well. Till next time, then. See ya.